Did you know that an offset account for your home loan not only reduces the interest you pay on your home loan repayments, it also reduces the number of years that you got on your home loan. But first of all, let me explain how an offset account works in my style. Okay, so I've got a cup here, and this cup says uh, 80% of a million dollars. So the property here is a million dollars, and we're borrowing 80%, which means we have 800K owing, okay? So this is the, the loan cup. So this is the offset cup, okay? So in this offset, we're gonna put 200K of soy milk, because I'm lactose intolerant, um, into this cup. And in terms of representing the uh, home loan, I'm using uh, what I bought from a uh, Korean store, because I love going there, even though I don't know what it is. I love this brand, Decaf. And I'm gonna pour it in and show you this example. Okay, so let's begin remove all this paper. I just used white just to highlight the text. So we pour in, um, you know, borrowing from the bank, 800K of lending. Whoa, let's stop at 80%. Okay, that's 80%. And then this is your uh, home loan over here. And then we're gonna use uh, soya milk to represent 200k of potential uh, funds you have to offset this home loan. Now let's go to the drawing board. At 5.5% interest rate, principal interest variable, the repayment is $4,542.31 per month. Our offset account, which is this soya milk here, which is filled with 200k of soya milk, the function of this is once it's linked to the home loan, in which you have to ask the bank to link it, will offset the funds sitting here dollar for dollar. So for example, if there's 200K sitting in over here, this is how it mathematically works. Let's tabulate this by without the offset account and with it after. So without it, you'll still be paying $4,542.31 per month. No difference. Now before we move on further on how our offset account works, we have to break down what is the principal portion and what is the interest only portion. So through my calculation, the interest only portion is 3,066.67 and the principal is this much. Add this together, you get this. Now hypothetically speaking, if you have an offset account and you have 200K, which is this 200K over here, and you see it linking to this darkish home loan over here, by having the 200K sitting there at 5.5% interest rate, is offsetting by $916.67. That means rather than paying 3,666.7 that month, you're actually paying this minus this by having this sitting there. And that works out to be this much. By having this 200K there, this is how much interest is charged per month rather than this amount. But then you guys will be asking me right now, Q, what happens to that 875 darkish principle that we need to pay off? Well, if we were to pie graph this repayment, which is the monthly repayment of an 800K 5.5% uh, principal interest variable rate, which is $4,542.31. I already told you the principal is 875, which is this portion here, this dark portion. But for this monthly repayment, instead of it taking 3666.67 per month without the offset account, it would only be taking this bottom area, which is 2750 which is because we have 200K parked in the offset account. But then a lot of you guys will be asking, well, what happens to this part of the pie, the remaining part, which is $916.67? Well, this is where the cookie crumbles. Well, the $916.67, which has been offsetted because of this 200K sitting in the offset account, this remaining pie of the repayment will be absorbed by the black part. So technically your principal is now 179231. And if you jump into my home loan offset calculator, which I have as a broker, and for example, hypothetically, I put in 200K here, you will see as a result, you will see by having this 200K here, it will not only offset your home loan every month by this much, but by having this fund parked there, and by having extra principal being paid, it helps you fast track repay your home loan by nine years so that you repay it in 20 years, in four months. But as a disclaimer and not financial advice, these are assumptions made. It does not take into account any possible fees charged by your lender. The variable interest rate does not change over time, which of course, a duh, it will change. So as you can see, by having an offset account, it not only offsets the interest being paid every month, it actually reduces the principal amount by nine years. But then a lot of you guys will say, hey, if I'm just putting money into the offset account, then I'll never pay off my home loan. 
No, wrong. And I talk a lot about this in my book, which is Keep Calm and Mortgage On. I call it the CPR method. When you pay the extra principal in your offset account, it doesn't mean you're not paying off your home loan faster. Because one day, one night, if you decide, hey, I really wanna pay off my home loan, you can use the funds in the offset account and put it directly into your home loan, like this. Woo. And then give it a little bit of shake and the bank will say thank you and it will actually pay off your home loan by nine years. Mm. By the way, that gulp that I did is technically meaning metaphorically, you paid it down by nine years by physically putting the money in, if you get it. Mm. Mm, I love Korean coffee, mm, tastes nice. So guys, jump in the comments. Let me know whether my analogy hit the spot because it definitely hit the spot for me. <laughs> jump in the comments, love to read them and answer any questions you might have. Mm.